Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel, Life with Patty. And so I'm coming today to you with a Walmart haul. And this is my first time to be to Walmart since the whole pandemic thing happened. So I think right before all this scare, I think I went, I think I went to Walmart the 1st of January and that's the last time I've been. So I was a little nervous because to me, Walmart is a germ infested place. You know, it's a big, huge place and I just didn't want to go. Well, we have a Walmart in the town over in Yuba City that's 100,000 people and that's where I normally go, but they are so crazy there, I didn't want to go and they have 60 confirmed cases of the COVID there. And so we went to another town over a different direction that's much smaller, their population is about 8,000 and they have a beautiful Walmart. Um, it was clean and the only thing that bothered me was I didn't know where everything was. Everything was turned around and so it was like to find things was a little more difficult. So I only found two, I only had two things on my list that I didn't find and that's okay. Um, so I did a grocery haul for you a couple days ago and I did forget a few things like lettuce and lunch meat and American cheese, different things like that. And so I did have some more groceries on this one as and also some other stuff. Um, I told you guys I lost my capris and I can't find them. <laughs> so I got some at Walmart. So let me show you what I've got. Um, because it's 45 miles one way there, I take my Yeti um, cooler bag for the refrigerated and frozen items and it works great. So, um, so let me get started and show you what I've got here. So I have there should be one more in here. Well, we'll start with this. I have some hot dogs. These are the cheapy hot dogs. They're just for my dog. My dog gets one hot dog a day. And so I put those in the freezer and take out one uh, package at a time. And so, yeah, those are for my dog. So um, these are the hash browns in the patties. And we like to have these every once in a while. They're handy because... You don't have to make the whole bag, you just make one. So we have those. And so my husband loves these uh, chicken. And this one is the chicken and cheese taquitos. They're so easy in the microwave. You put three of them in a little paper towel, wrap it up one minute in the microwave, and they're done. And they taste pretty good. So they're easy when I come home for lunch because I only have an hour. It takes me 10 minutes to get home and 10 minutes to get back. So, uh, so I got those. And I, I forgot lunch meat when I went to the grocery store. So here's some chicken lunch meat. This one had, uh, this was the honey ham. And I will freeze some of these and then just take them out as I need them. And this was the roast beef. And this one was a combo of turkey and ham. So now I'm set on lunch meat for quite a while. And like I said, I'll put three in the freezer and then have one out. Um, oh, here's my other package of hot dogs for Buster. And then some American cheese that we like to have grilled cheese sandwiches with. And I was going to make a patata tonight for dinner and I forgot my green onions. So there, and boom, I got them. So let me put this down. So I got to tell you, I was really, it was a good experience today. I was really happy with was going there um, and I told my friend there was three of us that went one of my co-workers and one of my old co-workers that doesn't work with us anymore and she went with us as well and um, I said heck that's where I'm going from now and I'm not going to go fight it in Yuba City with all those people there I'm going to Willow so uh, I got my head of lettuce that I have forgotten and then um, the Ozark Duke Rusty he made an awesome recipe of a chicken um, Yoki uh, soup the other day, and I will link his channel below. Go over and visit Rusty, and he made the best soup. And it had Yoki's in it, and it had chicken and spinach. It looks super good. So I found some Yoki's there, so I got two, and they were not in the refrigerated section, so I don't even think I have to cook. I don't have to um, freeze these. They're fine, just like they are. And, oh my gosh. These are those little intimate mini pies. 
So they are bad, bad, bad for me. <laughs> uh, one serving is 390 calories. 390 calories. Holy smoly macaroni. Total carbohydrates, 60. <laughs> this will be a once in a once a week type thing, I guess. And then, you know, some of you guys saw how I put the wine baskets together for the girls. Well, now we're doing one at work. I told you, if we don't have a potluck, something's got to happen. So the girl I got was our, um, our high school intern, and she is a senior, and um, so she can't have wine, of course. She said uh, vitamin waters and candy and fluffy things. So I got these candies I was going to fill up into a jar and put for her. I also forgot uh, ketchup the other day, so I, I always just get the generic brand, it doesn't bother me. And I forgot barbecue sauce, so I have two barbecue sauces, because I like to keep a little extra. Um, this is the Waterfall um, hand soap. And then, let me tell you, it is not easy to find apricot jam. My mom and I used to can it together all the time. But I haven't canned since my mom passed away. So I finally found some apricot jam. And then they had peach jam. And my mom and I used to do peach jam as well. So I wanted to try that. And blueberry is my absolute favorite. I can't find any of these in um, my own hometown. And then they had, uh, it's a fruit spread. It's mango, organic. So I got two of these because I'm sending one to my friend Cassie because these were made in Chico, which is just 45 minutes from uh, my house. And this is blackberry pomegranate, also made in Chico, which is right next to where I live. So I got two of those because Kathy and I are doing a basket. Um, I'm sending her things from California. She's sending me things from New York. So I, that was a great find. And I got, these are tennis balls, but they actually are going on my husband's walker because my husband still has to use the walker since coming home from the hospital, but these go on the bottom of the walker. So that's why I got those. And I have never heard of this one. This candy bar was made in Italy, it said. And it's called Bueno Crispy Cream Chocolate Bar. So, I don't know, I'm going to put two of those in um, Abby's basket. And then also they have Kit Kats. So, I got those possibly for her basket. And then, my grandkids love these little Skipper Chelsea Barbies. And they had, look at that one, with the red hair. And then the little boy. And then here's the one with the blonde hair. All my grandkids have blonde hair just about. Um, and then this one has the dark brown hair. This one looks like Kimmy. Karina, this looks like your daughter. And then this one looks like my little grandson, Tristan. <laughs> we got those. My husband's been reading a book like every three days, um, and the library is still closed. Hopefully the library is going to open soon, but he loves James Patterson. So I got him Lost from James Patterson, and then I got him The House Next Door from James Patterson. So hopefully he'll like those two. Um, this was the other thing I forgot when I went grocery shopping was the Moist and Meaty for Buster. So he's never had these square cubes. Hopefully he can chew those because he has about three feet. Um, this is what I normally get him. So now he has a lot. This will, 24 pouches will last him at least 48 days. So that'll last him a while. And the main reason I wanted to go to Walmart was because I said I didn't want Walmart closed, but there's nowhere else to go. And I can't find my Capris. So... And I can't bring them back. They said I can't bring them back during this pandemic. They said you'd have to wait till the whole thing is over 
but I didn't want to go in the dressing room, so I hope they fit. So I got these capris, which are really cute. They got the pocket on the side, and they got the little cuff down there. So this is the khaki color. And then this is a this is a khaki colored little different style. I sure hope these fit. I'm gonna be really sad if they don't. I don't know. And then I got the olive green as well. So I'm, I'm set on capris now. I've got three sets. That's all I need. And then you all know I'm a I am a pajama freak. And they've got pajamas right in front of my face. So I got two pair. And I'll put them right into the washing machine. But aren't they so cute? Hello, Summer on the watermelon. Bonnie from Bonnie Bon Bon Halls loves watermelons. And those are so cute. And then I got one more pair of flamingos I just I like I like this is a really light cotton and they're super super comfortable and I buy all my pajamas at Walmart because they are the most comfortable I could go to Kohl's and you spend twice to three times the amount of money uh, and they're not as comfortable as these are and so I was like why fight a good thing and this was the shirt with the flamingos so I go to Walmart for my pajamas because they are so so comfortable so that was my haul to Walmart you guys it was a good experience I'm happy wasn't stressed out um, we went to go to KFC but they still don't have the dining room open so we just got to go but then it's 45 miles home so nobody wanted to eat in the car and it was so windy we didn't want to go to a park or something so I got cold KFC so I threw the I don't want the french fries anyways. I should have just gotten the regular meal, but I got the chicken strips because I thought I was going to eat on the way home, but oh well, it's okay. It was nice to get out. We also went to the Dollar Tree. That's a different haul all too, um, but it, this is my first time to get out since all this happened. I've been just shopping in town except for Target two weeks ago, so um, it was nice to get out. So, All right, you guys, you take care. Have a great day, and I'll see you back here real soon. Bye-bye.